I named Shafiq Farhan as a product manager, design and, and manufacturing. Okay, that focus on design and manufacturing. And today's free online lesson topics. So I will cover on Autodesk for professional, which focus on PDM, product data management. Okay, if you have any question later, so for those that join from our Zoom meeting, you can drop me a chat or if you from uh, looking this video from our Facebook Live, don't forget to comment your question over there. So I will respond to your question after this. Okay, first thing first for board professional. So the new tools for board professional, which we are able to do in the mobile apps. Okay, which give you a very good flexibility okay, in terms of your design and also your engineering data to your mobile device. Okay, and the second thing, you also will be stay up to date on your project. So for example, you are the project manager for this uh, one project and your designer already added something. So you can see the update directly using the both mobile apps together. Okay, and the third benefit that are good using these bot mobile apps also, okay, you can also collaborate with within your team. Okay, after your design, your team already uh, finished the design, okay, and you want to make sure that this drawing submitted to the customer, so that also can be done using bot mobile apps. Okay, I will show some demonstration, simple demonstration on what are able to what are these mobile apps can be done. Right, so this will be my Vault Pro, then I can log in using Div Design icon. So for example, I have one drawing and I can see this preview inside my uh, Vault Pro application at my desktop. Okay, you can view, you can rotate over here, everything inside this. Okay, throughout here, I also able to attach one PDF file okay, to this SMD file, this uh, inventor SMD file. So just click here and attach. So you can see in this usage, attachment will be this part. Okay, this will be uh, interface for my mobile. Okay, so you can log in again using uh, the first one. I'll try to log in using a shop flow that only can see the release file. Okay, so anything that already been released that this shop flow account able to see. Okay, but uh, this account cannot do any editing depends on the workflow that I will mention later. Right, so now I try to log out and log in using person that more right. Okay, so over here I try to use Dave Designer. Okay, Dave Designer and connect with the vault account. So this vault basically just connect with your IP address, okay, that uh, your server connected, and you can see all the drawing inside here. Also, you can see the progress of the drawing. Okay, rather than you email one by one, over here you can see all your data, even though you are using this one. So QR code. Okay, so this one, when I have one drawing and I can also directly scan and able to see the 3D directly using apps, using mobile apps. So this will be the first things and very good features for everyone that integrate the drawing to this QR code. Okay, so your drawing need to, uh, need to insert the QR code and then you, everyone can scan and view the 3D directly. All right, so what is product data management? All right, so product data management is one of the tools or software to improve productivity. Okay, so everyone will work at a centralized data center. Okay, and they can also collaborate each other between internal or external team to reduce error. Okay, reduce error means you can reduce the time uh, for missing look, uh, missing parts, okay, missing drawing, and also save time. Okay, rather than you work, you need to find one by one drawing, okay, compared to this 
what data management. Right, so to make it here better, so every engineer normally are wasting time by man to manage their data. Okay, so they are keep doing the same thing, which is need to rename the file and also need to open the file, also the rename inside the drawing. Okay, so they already are wasting a time inside uh, the software. Okay, so this will be the area of ineffectiveness. Okay, so revision management, normal method. So people are working with this thing. So normal revision. So for example, you have drawing one underscore a dot dwg, and suddenly you want to do editing. Okay, what happened? You need to rename the drawing file, file name, and you need to open again your file, uh, your file DWG and rename inside. Okay, that will consume you a lot of time. Okay, and for a server performance, if you are using a normal method, which is using a local server, okay, so if the network cut, okay, you cannot access the soft, the file anymore. But using Vault Pro, you're also able to work in offline. Okay, search, which is you will search as a file name. Okay, for example, also you are using Inventor and suddenly you want to search some item. Okay, I add the project free. So what you will do, you need to select one by one and look for it. Okay, but using all this, all this inefficiency, uh, so we able to reduce in using PDM, product data management. Okay, so the idea of product data management, the uh, authorized bot pro. So if you have a cat user, non cat user, and also a viewer, okay, for the cat user, the most good things which is we uh, suggest that person using a bot pro. So non-cat non user also can use bot or also viewer also can use bot. Okay, everyone will save into a server. Okay, and then use Fusion team or Beam 360 team to send the drawing or to give this drawing, the specific published drawing to customer and vendors. So that will be the main workflow. So this will be the list of bot pro add-ins. So if you are using listed software here you are able to install the add-in for bot pro means your software will have the new tab we call it as a bot tab okay you just need to click and do whatever thing that you want okay the tab will be look something like this okay you are able to log in and log out using your account okay or you want to change to another account okay and then next you can also check in and check out your file Okay, check in means you want to insert back to the server and check out you want to take from server to your local to do the editing. Okay, so I show you one simple demonstration on this board and inventor first. Okay, I have inventor and I try to log in using this account at engineer. So I click OK. So open my vault professional. So over here, you can also log in using the same account, which is it engineer. Right? So I want to check in one file, okay, to here. So I need to open first using a manual method open from inventor itself. And then just need to go to here, right click and check in. Okay, this all file created using manual method and can be transferred, can be checked into my form. Okay, so over here we need to scan if there any drawing or any PDF attached to my 3D model. So just scan and get the total list. Okay, so type in first time. Hit, okay. Okay, everything done. Then okay. So just refresh from my vault and what you can see, this folder contain all my assembly, my parts and my drawing. Okay, in case this drawing are as a revision one and I want to do editing later. 
Okay, so I want to do some changes on one of the parts. Okay, so what I can do now, okay, so I can go to this rowing, this button rowing, DWG. Okay, and then go also to this IPT file. Okay, this rowing and this file. Okay, we can preview. Okay, first thing first, maybe you can just preview first this object and open back from my blog. Okay, we need to check out. So this round I use Dave Designer account to make sure that because Dave Designer are able to do editing. Okay, so click on open. Click the item that I want to edit, which is the tuner first, read only. Okay, because I just want to open first. Okay, the things that I want to edit, which is the button. Okay, so this button we need to check out because we want to do editing. Okay, you need to make sure that include all the parents together here. And then hit OK and OK again. Right, so click yes to all because we have more than one part. So this button, now we can open and we can do editing over here. So just need to do whatever item that you want to edit. Change the material. Okay, in this case, red. Uh, okay. And now you can save and check in back. Before you check in, you also can do editing for the drawing. Okay, because the drawing already changed, I need to do some dim dimension, dimension here. Over here. Okay, and then click another dimension over here. Okay, click and save. Okay, again, this already done. Then we can check in back to our vault. Okay, and after this, we also need to check in back our assembly because we already checked out the file. Okay, so what we can do next, so just close this drawing and go back to the assembly and right click check in back. Okay, save first. Click and check in back. Right, so we can do a different situation with comparison between revision one, version one, and version two over here. Okay, so drawing already updated and also the button IPT also already updated. So if you want to do comparison, you just need to click on this view. Okay, try to change the size, increase the size, and click again view, compare it side by side. Okay, side. Oh. One another one. Okay, now you can compare between version one and version two over here. So number one and number two over here. Okay, so it means you already add this thing, but you can also use this object, this uh vault proof to make sure that you control your versioning. Okay, they will have one more features inside this Vault Pro, which is, we call it as a get. Okay, for example, I have drawing version one and I want to, I already have also drawing version two. Okay, and suddenly I want to use the version one back to do editing. So we able to do that. But if you use the manual method, okay, you need to have a backup file for the previous one. But using this PDM, you no need to have the backup. So everything already inside this Vault Pro. Okay, you can com compare also the file history, compare side by side like, like I showed you before. Okay, so these topics here for release management, I believe these topics are very good for your management to know about this. Okay, because when you already done with something, okay, normally we will give the drawing to your boss in PDF and your boss need to sign. Okay, but using data management, what you need to do, you just need to change one drawing state for review and from your boss, your boss, after your boss approved, then the drawing will release to shop floor. Okay, instead of using a paper and pass to different departments or different people, okay, you can use this release data management, okay, release management and make sure that your data flow are going in a proper location. Okay, so 
person one to another person. So this work in progress go to for review stage, and another one go to release and obsolete. Okay, you also can able to make a larger workflow for your company. So this one depends on how complicated you want to set it in here. Okay, for this release management, so what we can do, basically we can do one drawing okay, using this div designer account. Okay, and open, for example, I have one drawing here, TF, one FTP tower. Okay, and I change state from this work in progress for review. But when I try to save, I don't add the properties yet. So this drawing, I need to make sure that I insert my name first. So this one, I can insert div because I did done this drawing. And next, now I can change the state, okay? So name already appear at the title box already, directly appear. So this step now just the same. Work in progress, right click, change state to for review and okay. So what happened now? When you change to for review, okay, so my manager account are able to see that for review uh, drawing. Go back to this drawing for review one. Okay, and also can add after here, agree with this drawing, approve this drawing. Click close and change state to release. So once this drawing release, the drawing can be opened by other parties, for example, the production team or shop floor team. Okay, this drawing also uh, automatic generate the PDF file. Okay, what happened in shop floor account? Okay, so PDF file release. Okay, what happened to shop floor account later? So I just go to here. Log out, log in again to shop floor. And then hit OK. So shop floor, a person that can only see the release one. So this PDF and this DWG. Right? So that will be the workflow that we can set. Means we can set from one person to another person and to the next person. Okay? This one we call it as a PDM. Okay, the another tools that we also can done, we can do editing or replace one object okay, in a simple way. So normal method, we, we are using this uh, inventor. For example, you're using inventor. If you plan to replace from geometric A to geometric B, you need to remove this one, insert back the B and do the assembly. Okay, but using this work pro, so you don't need to do that things anymore. Okay, so how it can be done. So again, go to one drawing here using inventor, open one file. So open suspension drawing. So go to design folder. Okay, here. Suspension. Suspension IAM and click checkout. Okay, because this one only one assembly. Then I just use one checkout only. And what happened now? I open the 3D model for this assembly. Okay, my idea now I want to change the arm for both. Okay, for top, the orange color one. Okay, I want to change into a new design. Okay, so now we can find the duplicate first. Okay, from this drawing. So I Click here, find the duplicate. So this one, no duplicate. Okay, but if I want to search for this arm, okay, the suspension directly. Okay, now you see that these item are the same item, which is the mirror one and also the copy one. Okay, this one is a new arm. So what I can do over here, so I can open from my Vault Pro. Okay, I can also see the file, preview the file. So this will be the new design for my parts. Okay, 
So re really simple step. So what you need to do to replace it, you just need to right click and click on the three dot and just click replace to all. Okay, so this change the bottom first. So if you want to change to the top, so we will do the same process. Okay, click on the lower top over here. Already change the bottom. Then we will repeat the process to the top one. Okay, so this will be the top and we need to click on the three dot also, change into new design, replace. Okay, click yes. Okay, already change without do any assemble. Okay, so this already improve your workflow instead of doing it manually. Okay, and then you no need to do it manually anymore. Okay, so to be at on for this model, so what I can do also, okay, I can see first, check in this suspension, the picket component and hit okay. Okay, once I done with this thing, I also able to publish online and make other people view it online without having any software. Okay, so this suspension, for example, if I want to make it online, so what I can do, this one, if you have a, a Rock Pro, okay, to view in a Rock Pro, you just need to click on here. Okay, view here. But how about if you don't have any access for this Rock Pro? Okay, so what we can do now, so basically we can do on our Google Chrome, okay, so the from this Vogue Pro suspension over here, suspension design suspension. So we can also share a view or upload to a cloud drive. Okay, share a view means you just want to share. Okay, but for upload, you want to make that people access the file. Okay, that will be the difference between these two. Okay, this share only applicable if you want to make it that person able to view only. Okay, so this button, this view that I already create and I already share to the cloud and it will look something like this. Okay, it will look something like this. Right, so for those that I use this vault here, for example, I go to this tuner and I hit on this upload to cloud drive, so what will happen, so this file, it will take a few times, okay, maybe a few minutes to make sure that your file successfully upload into the cloud and the file will save at the Fusion team. So all the file will be included here. Okay, this one in a cloud. So this will be a very good tools if you are working with, uh, you want to share this file to other parties. Okay, but don't know how to use how to upload it manually. So normally you will upload one by one. But using this Vault Pro, one single click you can upload everything. Okay, for example, I want to open the 3D model, so I just can open this button, button IPT. Okay, and can view and can comment the 3D. So using this thing, Fusion 360. Okay. Right, so this will be the tools, what we can do. Right, so in order to make uh, our Vault Pro have a very good features also, okay, so everything we are working with, we call it as a server. Okay, so I just go to here, action. Uh, so this one, tools, administrator, global setting. So to add people or to remove people, we need to use these tools, which is we use click on this manage access button. So for example, I already add my name and I want to add another people, the new person that come into my company. So I just need to click on this new button and the display name should be Farah. Okay, email address if there and the first name Farah also. Okay, which rules that I want to give to him, to uh, to Farah. So if I want to give only 
for a viewing. So you can use these rules. Okay, this rule basically we can print it. Okay, document editor only for using the document editor. So for our rules might be the document controller. So I can use this one, document consumer also. Hit okay. So which project that I want to include, which is this one. Okay, so what happened now when I already create this Farah account here. So I now able to log in and log out using Farah account over here. So go to this bulk tab. And also I can log out. Okay, again, log in using Farah. And hit OK. All right, so whenever Farah start to log in, Oh, because Farah not set the password yet. Okay, so we need to open using Farah account, set the password, and then Farah can log in directly here. Okay, so this will be how we create everything. So the workflow also can be created here. Okay, so the rules, permission, the configuration, and the workflow only need to create here. Okay, the rules here. So for example, administrator have a full control. But for the document editor, only add, edit the document, file and folder. Document uh, editor level one, to do add and edit, but document editor level two have a full control of file, folder, and other properties for the document. Right, so hopefully that one clear. clear. Right, so that will be my presentation for today. If you have any things that want to ask, okay, so you can go to our website. So this will be our website, acadsystems.com. Just go to this address bar, type in acadsystems.com. Okay, and then if you want to chat with our team, so just need to go to this button over here, click on this live chat and start your chat. Okay, so our team will respond to you immediately because these tools is a live tools. Okay, so if you chat us now, we will directly respond to you now. Okay, so don't forget also to join our next topic for free online lesson. So tomorrow we have very good topics, InfraWorks to Revit, how to create a bridge. And for upcoming months also, we already plan a lot of topics you can register. Okay, if you missed this video or you want to know more about our previous FOL, just go to our Facebook page or YouTube channel. So these two, we all upload everything inside there. So good news. Uh, this one is very good, uh, a new one. So if you want to learn about AutoCAD, so you can also ask your friend that want to learn about AutoCAD, we have a lesson to, to learn there. So you can click on this button, go to this playlist, and go to the ACAD video lesson for this AutoCAD. Okay, you can learn starting from scratch until you can create your 2D modeling. So we did it. Okay, we already done for 2D drawing. So we plan to create more video for everyone. Okay, so I think that will be my presentation for today. Any question? Wait, I try to check here. No question so far. Okay, I would like to thank everyone that joined. Thank you, everyone, and stay safe. Okay, if you don't have any urgent thing, okay, just stay at home. Make sure if you want to go out, wear a mask. Okay, thank you, everyone. Bye bye.